Hey guys, it's multi man and I'm back with another how-to computer tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a legitimate working Minecraft server that you can actually get your friends uh, invited in. And so, I have Minecraft, and so uh, ever since a couple of these updates, like since last year, I, find, I found it kind of harder. I mean, it's been like a while since I played. And I couldn't quite remember how to properly set up a server, so I looked up on I looked online, tried to find some guys. There were good guys, but I made the server, but I could never get into my server. And so I already have made my own server here, but just for the sake of this tutorial, just to show you guys it works, I'm just gonna delete all this stuff except for the thing. All right, guys, I'm back with an empty recycling bin, and so. Now let's just get this tutorial started. All right, so first thing we want to do, we want to go to the Minecraft uh, website, Minecraft.net, in order to download the server itself. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and click download it here. And go down here. We download Minecraft server and Minecraft server 1.7.9. And so I'm, um, I will get these two because I will get these two even though it doesn't recommend you get them both it says like you only get one but I recommend you get both of them if you have a, a version that's above 1.7.2 because any version above 1.7.2 has this weird uh, glitch where it doesn't show the console for the server and so that it gets really annoying okay so now first things first you want to make sure you move um, the two items you downloaded into a, a new folder I like to call it like world something so I, I just call this one nworld and so we're gonna open uh, we're gonna make a new uh, text document in here open that up alright first we're just gonna paste this line in uh, I'll have this this code in the uh, description uh, below so check that out and paste that in into uh, this text document and then we're just gonna click file, save as. We're gonna all files run. Oops, not rub. Run dot bat and save. Okay, close that. Delete the text document. All right, and so now we're just gonna click run and wait for this to um, do its loading. Okay, so now that's done loading. Wait for all this stuff to finish loading. Once it says done. Then once it once it's done, just type in stop, press enter, let's wait for it to finish, and it'll close. And then we go into the console, press the any key to continue. Okay. All right. So now we have our server. We our server is basically open for business now. And so now what you're gonna want to do is just click on run once again to start your server. All right, my server is starting. All right, my server is done with the startup, and so now I'm just gonna open up Minecraft. All right, so now I've opened up Minecraft. So we're just gonna go into multiplayer, and we're gonna click Add Server. So I'm just gonna call this one Home Worlds. And if you're running it on your own computer, if you're running the server on your own computer, just type in localhost and you should be able to connect immediately. Let me just get rid of this one because it's the same thing. Alright. Okay, yeah, here it is. Homeworlds. Okay, so you can see that, yeah, it's, it's working now online. Alright. And so, but now, what if you want your friend to be able to connect? This is the part where almost every guide I, I watched or read they didn't tell you about this. I'm, I was having like lots of difficulty with this, and so I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. All right. So you go to edit. Hold on. First, let me just hit Minecraft. All right. So you go to edit here, and in the server address you give. I mean, you give your um your friend this, not your IP address, but you need the server address. So the server address by default is what's something called your IPv4 address. And so I bet you're wondering how can we figure this out? And I'll now I'll show you. We go to start and uh, open up your command prompt. 
Notice I clicked run as administrator because on Windows 7 and above you need to uh, run command prompt as an administrator or you won't be able to get much done. It's not in any command prompt. We're going to type in IP config. And we scroll up until we find IPv4 address, which is right here. And so I'm going to type mine in. Oops. There we go. I'm done. All right. Just refresh one more time. And as you can see, there you go. It's online. Just yep. That was my IPv4 address. And I can. I'm not. I'm not able to join the server because I inputted my IPv4 address. So if you if you need if you want a friend to be able to go onto your server, you need to send them your IPv4 address. But if you want to go into your own server, you just type in localhost into the server port. Or you can just type in your IPv4 address for you. Either one works. But your, for, for your friends, they have to have your IPv4 address or it's not going to work. Oh, wow. oh my. Wow, I spawned underwater. That sucks. Alright guys, this has been multi tutumen and a very bad spawn. <laughs> Man. Alright. Signing out.